All right, I wanted to do a video on just the obsessive mentality of the Ed Fenninger cultists, the people who just attack us nonstop, who just attack Brother Brian Denlinger, attack myself, attack, you know, Tim, attack JT does, just attack us on every little thing that we say, just they'll, they'll listen to every video we put out. I mean, they're just obsessed, but check this out. So this is some comments. These are all comments from one person, this uh, Linda Edmondson, or whatever her name is. But literally every single video I put out, she's commenting, calling me all these names and everything. Clips saying I'm a cult member that I'm following Brian Dudlinger. Like here's one comment she left. And uh, Lord Rebuke her, by the way. She is um, uh, being w very wicked and she's just is lying about me and slandering me. Uh, and again, you know, I'm doing this in response because it's just getting out of hand. It's crazy. How just the obsessiveness and just the demonic spirit of we just, we got to expose him. We got to expose him just over and over again. Uh, and, and you'll say, well, you've done a lot of videos against Ed Fenninger. Yeah, I'm responding to his videos against me. I have a right to respond. It says, she says, this kid is such a hypocrite thanks to his messiah, Brian Dillinger. You know, just totally slandering me. I never said Brian Dillinger is my messiah. Uh, notice how anyone who joins Brian Dillinger's cult turns out to, like a ravening wolf wanting to attack. Hopefully this kid will leave that satanic cult. You know, it's it just crazy. And then this guy comments, uh on my video refuting Ed Fenninger, his heretical twisting of James chapter 2. And keep in mind, I just posted this video like 10 minutes ago, and already they're commenting. I mean, literally, every video I put out, they're commenting on it. It's like, good good grief, get a life, you know? I mean, I've never exposed somebody where I listen to every little, little thing they put out. It's crazy, but he says, nobody ever taught this nonsense before Ruckman. Uh, okay, let me point something out. Our standard for, as Christians, and sorry my sniffling, I am sick right now. Our standard for Christians is the Bible, okay? If the Bible says something contrary to what Christians, quote-unquote, have always believed, then you go by what the Bible says. So if, if quote-unquote, Christians have always been dispensational, or, or dispensational in their version, in meaning that, like, salvation's always been the same, but the Bible clearly teaches salvation is different in different dispensations, you go with what the Bible says. Except for Catholics use it to attack salvation by grace through faith alone. I don't do that. I say salvation is by faith in this dispensation, not in the other dispensations. Dispensationalists have always taught that the type of justification James 2 is showing true faith before other men by works. Um, where does it say that anywhere in the text? It says you're justified by works. How is that showing? How is that justified by faith? And it says by not, and it even says not by faith only. It's ridiculous. And it's kind of funny because James, the book of James, is not even written to Christians. It's written to the 12 tribes. But they're almost acting as if it's applying to us. This is what clearly teaches you can't really divide. Okay. Well, again, the book of James is to the Christian. Or, I mean, it's to the 12 tribes. Sorry. I, I uh, Sorry, I was lost my train of thought. It, it's to the uh, 12 tribes. Christians are not part of the 12 tribes. And she comments over, like every single video, she's commenting on every video I put out. Uh, where is it? And I, I, I bet you these, you know, when I said it's, you know, obviously, you know, earlier how I slipped up and said it's for the Christian. I imagine that, you know, because here's what these, these guys do. If you slip up or just say anything wrong at all, they'll, 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 just, they'll just take your words. They'll just take it out of context, twist what you're saying. And it's like, huh? I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to say that at all. You know, it, it's ridiculous. So I imagine the videos are going to come out against me saying, hey, John Kraken thinks that salvation or the book of James is to the Christian. Even though I correct them myself, typical of these guys, they're just gonna look at, look at, search for any little thing that I say wrong, any slip up I make, and just attack me on it. And it says Denlinger's made over thirty videos attacking Stephen Anderson. This kid is a hypocrite. Okay, um, how am I a hypocrite? I have not made videos attacking. Well, I have made some videos against Anderson, but here's the difference though. Brian Denlinger has made maybe about fifty or so videos. Ed Fenninger has made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos against Brian Denlinger. I mean, it's like just video after video after video. So I don't see how that compares. And, you know, and he writes on my website, he writes on my website, I said that Brian Dillinger is a false teacher. Uh, and again, I got rid of that page because after I got saved, I, I, began to, I began to fix my website a bit. Sorry, my sniffling. I, I do, I really do apologize. It's just, I'm sick. And then she's attacking me on my stance against interracial marriage. And it's kind of funny because she doesn't go over any of the scripture I gave in my video. Like, in my video refuting Ed Fenninger's pro miscegenation stance, I gave lots and lots of scripture. She didn't, she doesn't go over any single one of them. It's ridiculous. And Romans 10 is not the gospel. 
Yes, it is. The Gospel of 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. I've already already answered that. He believes that what his Messiah, Brian Dillinger, says, the blind leading the blind. So again, just obsessing, just commenting over and over and over again. And in this King's Table Guide, just commenting over and over and over and over again. And she, here she is again, commenting, commenting, just over and over. It's like, this is how obsessed they are, just over and over and over again. It's like, get a life, you know? I'm, I'm you know, if I'm truly a lost, hell-bound heretic, then make two videos against me, you know? And, and again, I've done some stuff responding to Ed Fenninger, but I have a right to respond. If I'm truly a lost, hell-bound heretic, then you don't just obsessively attack me, you rebuke me, and then you mark and avoid me. But this is not this is not the mark of a Christian. This is the mark of, of lost pagan Catholics who just, we got to fight against this guy, you know? It's ridiculous. So, anyway, don't be deceived by this Ed Fenninger cult who just attacks Brian Dillinger, attacks anyone who associates with Brian Dillinger. I mean, look at this. It's just commenting over and over again. It's like these guys have no life. It's ridiculous. So, anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.